All right, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So the Goku Day celebration for this year is almost upon us and we just got the official data download on Global a couple hours ago. So in today's video, I wanna quickly break down for you guys everything that we learned from it. I mean, it pretty much just confirmed all the things that we knew were already coming with a few interesting additions, which I'll get to, of course, later on in the video. Now, real quick, before we go any further, I want to give a big shout out to my boy Daffy from Payne's shop on Twitter for hooking me up with some very nice prices on my Dragonstones. If you guys are looking to save a pretty solid amount of money on your next Dragonstone purchase, then make sure to hit him up in my description down below. All right, so with that out of the way, let's jump into the actual details for the upcoming celebration and what you can see on the screen right now is a quick little preview of all the new characters and awakenings i mean almost all of them at least there's two omissions which i'll also talk about later but uh here are most of the new characters that are coming with the celebration and, and as you can see there's a lot of stuff there's a lot of stuff this video could go quite long i'll try to make it you know as condensed as concise as possible but uh, as you guys know sometimes i like to ramble okay so here is the preview, and as far as the release date for most of these guys, it's going to be May 7th at 11.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Of course, the time could be different depending on your time zone. For me, it's going to be May 8th at 2.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is also when I'll be going live for my summons on the Super Saiyan 2 Goku and Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta banners. All right, so make sure you guys are there for that. Just a quick shameless plug. It's all good. Okay, so moving on to the actual character details now. Um, here, of course, is the Super Saiyan 2 Angel Goku who transforms into Super Saiyan 3 Goku. And also the Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta that transforms into Majin Vegeta. And they will be part of the main Dual Dokkan Fest for the celebration. But I've already gone over their details multiple times in previous videos, so I'm gonna stay away from that in this video if you guys are interested in you know getting getting a full breakdown of what they do and a quick analysis that you can check out one of my other videos on the channel where I've gone through it already. You'll, you'll probably find a link actually to one of the videos somewhere above my head over here. So if you guys are interested, make sure to click on it or check it out after this video. But uh, let's move on to some of the other characters that I haven't really talked about too much in my previous videos, such as the summonable Fizz Dabura that's coming with the uh, Vegeta banner and also this uh, Super Saiyan Great Saiyan Man that's coming with the Goku banner. So starting with the Dabura here, his leader skill is Majin Buu Saga, category key plus 3, HP, attack and defense plus 120%, super attack raises defense, so he's an infinite stacker, causes supreme damage, and greatly lowers defense. And his passive is attack and defense plus 120%, medium chance of stunning the attack enemy for 2 turns, Majin Buu Saga category, uh, category extreme allies he plus two attack and defense plus 30 percent and uh, his links are brutal beatdown loyalty master of magic majin resurrection plan nightmare fear and faith fierce battle the categories are majin Buu saga siblings bond and terrifying conquerors so uh, overall a pretty solid unit 120 percent attack and defense is a nice boost he's also a very good support for specifically extreme type majin Buu saga category units and he also has a medium chance of course to stun the enemy for two turns and he also infinitely stacks defense so once again he's gonna be on those units that's gonna be really good for longer events like the infinite dragon ball history event and also the uh, legendary goku event so that's the bura right there very solid and next up we have the saiyan man his leader skill is hybrid saiyans category key plus three HP attack and defense plus 120%. Super attack raises attack. So he's an infinitely um, stacking attack unit, which is also good, but not as useful in general as um, infinitely stacking defense, right? Because if he hits really hard, but doesn't tank that well, he's not going to be that useful to you in, you know, those harder events like Super Battle Road and such, right? So um, he's good, but I feel like Debora is probably going to be overall a little bit more useful for more events. Anyways, raises attack, causes supreme damage, and greatly lowers defense. And his passive is attack and defense plus 120%, high chance of sealing the attack enemy's super attack for two turns. 
and Majin Buu Saga category super class allies keep plus 2, attack and defense plus 30%. So same boost as the Bora, but also um, instead of uh, stunning, he uh, will seal the enemy, and he also gives super class allies from the Majin Buu Saga the same support as the Bura, so kind of his counterpart, I guess. His links are Brainiacs, Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Hero of Justice, Supreme Power, Fierce Battle, and his categories are Hybrid Saiyans, Majin Buu Saga, Goku's Family, Simply Spawn, Super Saiyans, Kamehameha, and Special Pose. So two very decent new non Dokkan Fest units that are coming with the dual Dokkan Fest banners. And now we're gonna move on to the story event character. So we're getting a new story event, you guys saw in the news, and uh, it's gonna bring with it two very interesting free-to-play units, all right? So the first one is this um, Gohan, but technically just Saiyan Man, because he basically just transforms immediately as soon as he comes into the rotation. So as you can see, his passive is transforms into the hero of love and justice as a disguise, and he transforms upon entering attacking turn, right? So once he transforms into Great Saiyan Man pretty much as soon as he comes onto rotation, his leader skill is Super Class, key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus, plus 40%, his super attack causes supreme damage and lowers attack and defense, and his passive is attack and defense plus 100%. Key plus 5 plus an additional attack and defense plus 58%, chance of performing a critical critical hit and evading enemies attack including super attack plus 10% when attacking extreme class allies, or sorry, not allies, enemies. So basically he gets attack and defense plus 100% unconditionally and he gets this other boost uh, in addition to the critical hit chance and also evade chance when facing extreme enemies and then he also will essentially seal himself when you're facing a Pepe Gals or Youth category enemy. So a little bit of nice flavor to the card as well, which is it's kind of like the um, LR Yamcha, very similar mechanic, except Yamcha stunts himself, this guy will seal himself if you're facing Pepe Gals or Youth. Uh, but overall, very, very solid unit once again. Um, he lowers attack, which means that if you are facing uh, on Battlefield, if the Jiren is a tech type, then this guy would be a good unit to bring just to lower his attack. Um, but yeah, overall, solid, solid free to play unit. And it's just interesting that, like, he has this, you know, mechanic that I don't think any other unit in the game has as far as, like, transforming turn one as soon as he comes into rotation. Uh, so that is the same man right there. Oh, Lynx, Brainiacs, Saiyan Lineage, Patrol, Signature Pose. Hero of Justice, Supreme Power, Shattering the Limit, pretty much very niche, um, very, very, yeah, very, very niche links for the most part, which is all the same mans. I mean, he'll link well with like the LR, you know, friend summon um, Saiyan man, but he won't link that well with a lot of other units in this game, unfortunately. Uh, I mean, he does have Shattering the Limit, so you at least will get that two key for a lot of those free to play units, right? His categories are Hybrid Saiyans, Majibu Saga, Transformation Boost, Goku's Family, Siblings Bond, and Special Pose. And uh, let's move on to the Yamu and Spopovich. So this unit is even more interesting to me because of one part of their passive, which we'll get to. Leader Skill, World Tournament Category Key plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 50%, super attack causes supreme damage and recovers 7% HP, so they heal. And passive is attack and defense plus 70%, key plus 2, plus an additional attack plus 20% with each super attack performed. And one thing you might notice is that there's no limit on this, alright? So they will increase their key and increase their attack every single time, like forever, right? There's a, there's I mean, I think there is a cap of like 10,000 attack or something like that, but of course it will never really reach that realistically in any event in this game. And then they also get an additional defense plus 20% with each attack received up to 140%. So of course, as a free-to-play unit, um, their defensive stat is not very high, so it's good they get up to 140% defense. But of course, this is going to take a little while to stack up, and uh, this takes a while to stack up too, but it's just very interesting to me that there's no limit on this man i think it says something down here oh, yeah, okay so their additional attack is calculated separately resulting in a boost of 34 percent instead of 20 percent with each super attack received each boost lasts 99 turns and has a limit of 10,000 percent which is impossible to reach and uh, their defense boost is calculated separately as well resulting in a boost of 34 percent 
with each attack received for a total boost of 308% with uh, after seven attacks. So uh, yeah, they can get pretty crazy, guys. They can get pretty crazy. Obviously, it takes a while to get them. Um, I mean, it's actually impossible to get them to their max potential, but for defense, it takes a couple turns, but they should be like somewhat tanky. Like I said, their defense is not that high, but with 308%, they should still be getting a pretty good amount of defense. And uh, their attack, of course, depending on how long the event is, can get really, really crazy, right? And uh, links are Brutal Beatdown, uh, Evil Autocrats, Demon Duo, Berserker, Tough as Nails, Coward, Chatter of the Limit, and categories are World Tournament, Majin Buu Saga, Join Forces, Terrifying Conquerors, Terrifying Conquerors, and Earthlings. So that is the Yamu and Spopovich. Um, it's cool that like these side characters, these like kind of minor characters, I mean they did play a pretty big-ish role I guess in Dragon Ball Z, but um, they are very much like not you know, prominent characters, right? So it's cool that they're getting their own card and uh, a pretty solid free-to-play one at that, right? Okay, moving on to uh, two Dokkan Awakenings for the 50% STR supports. So we just got the AGL ones and now we're getting the STR ones in the next celebration, which I'm okay with. The tech hit, when I say tech hit, the STR hit, as well as the STR Super Saiyan Kaba. So for the hit, he gives extreme STR types key plus four, HP attack and defense plus 120%. This is of course after Dokkan Awakening. His super attack is time skip, raises defense, once again, infinitely stacking defense, and supreme damage, causes supreme damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy. His passive is STR types key plus three, plus an additional attack and defense plus 50% for extreme STR types. Randomly changes key spheres of a certain type, um, STR excluded to STR key spheres, and attack and defense plus 20% per key sphere obtained. So notice that these 50% supports pretty much work very similarly to each other, with like a few minor changes here and there, right? Uh, links are experienced fighters, cold judgment, and fighter warriors of universe six, shocking speed, turn of power, and shattering the limit. The categories: universe survival saga, universe six, and target. Goku. And for the Kaba here, uh, super, STR, uh, super STR types, key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 120%. So instead of extreme for hit, he has super. And his super attack causes supreme damage and raises attack and defense by 30% for 9 turns, which I believe is the same as the Int Kid Gohan. And his passive is STR types, key plus 3. Uh, plus an additional attack and defense plus 50% for super STR types. Randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to uh, STR included to STR key spheres. And attack and defense plus 20% per key sphere obtained. Links are Saiyan Lineage, Saiyan Warrior, or sorry, Saiyan Pride, Super Saiyan, Cur Courage, Warriors of Universe 6, uh, Prepare for Battle, and Shattering the Limit. And his categories are Universe Survival Saga, Pure Saiyans, Universe 6, Super Saiyans, Bond of Master and Disciple, and Explosion of anger. Next up, we've got the Extreme Z Battle Event for the AGL Super Saiyan 2 Angel Goku, as well as the STR Majin Vegeta. And both of these units become absolutely ridiculous after their easy A's. Um, it's actually quite insane just how good they are now. All right, so we're gonna start here with the uh, STR Majin Vegeta first. His leader skill after easy A is Vegeta's family, category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 130%, or STR types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 100%. His super attack greatly raises defense, attack and defense for one turn, which is a 50% boost, and causes supreme damage to enemy. And his passive is changes AGL key spheres to STR key spheres, attack and defense plus 20% per key sphere obtained, plus an additional Attack and defense plus 5% per key sphere obtained when there is a Goku's family category enemy. So 20% is already quite high, right? But if you're facing a Goku's family character like a Goku, a Gohan, a Chi Chi, a Goten, a Bula, so on and so forth, or not Bula, sorry, uh, a Pan, then this dude's gonna be getting 25% attack and defense per key sphere obtained while also changing key spheres. So um, his numbers get really, really crazy, man. Like, he is really, really good, like I said. And his links are Super Saiyan, War Saiyan Warrior Race, uh, Saiyan Pride, Royal Lineage, uh, Over in a Flash, Supreme Power, and Shattering the Limit. Unfortunately, no fierce battle. That would have made this guy 
Just so, so good. I mean, he already is, but the lack of Fierce Battle kind of sucks. Categories, Majin Buu Saga, Resurrected Warriors, Pure Saiyans, Vegeta's Family, Worthy Rivals, and Super Saiyan 2. And uh, that's pretty much it for him. So moving on to the Goku now. Very similar, actually. So Goku's Family, Category Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 130%, or AGL Types Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 100%. Super Attack is... Uh, Creatively raising attack and defense, or raises attack and defense for one turn, once again 50%, and causes supreme damage to the enemy. And he changes STR key spheres to AGL key spheres, attack plus 20%, defense plus 10%, and recovers 10,000 10, HP per key sphere obtained, plus an additional attack and defense plus 5% when there is a uh, per key sphere obtained when there is a Vegeta's family category enemy. So his passive is very similar, like I said, to the Vegeta, except instead of 20% defense here, he gets less defense, but he heals for a ton with every key sphere obtained. And uh, of course, he gets the additional attack and defense plus 5% as well when facing Vegeta's family. And uh, links are Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, All in the Family, Saiyan Warrior Race, Prepare for Battle, Supreme Power, and once again, Shattering the Limit. Categories Majin Buu Saga, Resurrected Warriors, Pure Saiyans, Goku's Family, other world warriors and super saiyan 2 amazing amazing easy a's like i said the only thing that sucks the only thing that's kind of sad is that you can't run these guys on the same team as the dokkan fest super saiyan 2 and Goku and super saiyan 2 vegeta because obviously they have the same name oh actually no this guy can't be run on the same team as the super saiyan 2 angel goku but the majin vegeta can because the majin vegeta um the Dokkan Fest one doesn't start as a Majin Vegeta, right? So you can run this guy on the same team as the Dokkan Fest Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta, but this guy cannot be run on the same team with uh, the Dokkan Fest Super Saiyan 2 Angel Goku, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. And the last thing, we're almost there guys, the last thing I want to talk about in this video is the uh, addition of these two premium tickets, Premium Ticket A and Premium Ticket B. So. You guys know that we are going to be getting um, tickets with our summons on the uh, Super Saiyan 2 Angel Goku banner and the Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta banner, right? Um, and also we got, we got some free ones with missions and logins, which was nice. But on top of that, Bandai also is adding in these premium tickets. And I don't know exactly how they're going to work, but my assumption is that they are going to be available through the Pilafs Trove for actual money. I'm not really sure like what the cost of the packs will be, but we'll most likely be able to buy like five to 10 tickets per pack. And uh, these are the tickets that most likely will be guaranteeing a featured unit with a multi. So they're gonna be better essentially than the tickets we get from the banners. And uh, obviously if you get a guaranteed featured unit, that means that your chances of getting the uh, LR Super Saiyan 4s or one of the transforming Super Saiyan 2s is just way higher, right? So yeah, I mean, these of course are a bit of a cash grab, but I'm not surprised that they're a thing. I know some people out there are gonna be pissed about it, but honestly, like, it's just kind of a thing that I expect from Bandai these days. So uh, that's, that's available for people that are pay to play, that are willing to spend some money or some higher chances, I guess, potentially, of uh, pulling the main units or the LR Super Saiyan 4s or just any of the other featured units. So uh, there's that. Of course, like I said, I don't know exactly how they work, so I could be slightly off with my description, but I feel like I'll be pretty close. It's most likely gonna be like Pilaf's Trove tickets that guarantee you a featured unit with a multi, all right? So uh, that's pretty much it, guys. That is the video. Like I said, a lot of stuff to cover, but we actually got through it somewhat quickly. It still took close to 20 minutes, but um, anyways, uh, that is the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys learned something along the way, and hope you guys are excited for this upcoming celebration. I mean, of course, um, there's still some other events that we don't know about that I didn't talk about in this video just because Bandai, you know, hasn't revealed it to us yet. Uh, I feel like there might be a world tournament. At least I'm hoping because it's been a while. I'm actually itching to grind a world tournament. So fingers crossed for that. And oh, also one thing I didn't talk about, but I did mention in a video yesterday is uh, we are getting two new stages for the Infinite Dragon Ball History event. The 
Goku's family stage, as well as the Vegeta's family stage, right? So that's also going to be a thing. So lots of stuff coming up to grind on Global, finally, right? It's been dead for so long. Like, I actually did a stream yesterday where I was like, I called it um, the calm before the storm. And people are like, what storm are you talking about, man? The anniversary is still two months away. And I was like, literally any new content on Global right now should be considered a storm because our standards are just that low now right so i'm excited for all the new content i'm excited for the new banners the new units hope you guys are at least mildly hyped as well and uh that's gonna be the video guys thank you so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed it you guys are amazing as always if you liked the video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you'll like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.